So welcome back to another video by Swiss Technology, Swiss Academy guys. In the last class, in the last video to be exactly speaking, we have discussed about how to install the Salesforce command line interface. And we have found out that it is a very important tool in order to connect your local system to your Salesforce organization to enable some of the local development. But you know that, so using the local development and using command prompt is not a very good, very good feasible, feasible way. So that is why we are going for something called as Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is the most famous editor among the developers nowadays. And it is the most uh, reliable resource for all the developers. Let us download it. Please download the appropriate version for your system. My system is Windows and I'm using a 64-bit operating system. So I'm going to download the stable version, but not the insider version. Please remember that point, everybody. So once you download it, so you can install it however you want. You can observe what are the different languages it is going to support. So many extensions are there. So what are the first steps you need to do? So how to introduce yourself to the Visual Studio Code? So how to understand what is Visual Studio Code? How to start with the Visual Studio Code? Everything will be there. So just go through these things a couple of minutes, guys. Please don't leave them hanging, okay? So go through these videos, what they had to say regarding the developer they have used. How to set up your Visual Studio Code, see? So how to update the references, how to get the things done and all those things. Then you will have, so what is the user interface? How to, what are the things available in the user interface? So this is called as activity bar, this is called as sidebar, this is called as status bar, editor groups. Okay, so what each and every one of them mean? So how do you have side-by-side -side editing? So minimap netla use just call it, how to use the minimap? What are the breadcrumbs, how to use them? So what is the explorer? Okay, so everything, everything regarding the Visual Studio Code. See, if you are going to use Microsoft Office, Excel to do some documentation, you will want to know all the settings and all things from that, right? The same thing here also. Please go through this one, everybody. Please don't leave it out like that. Then the installation was successful and you can see that it is available here and I click on it. And it is opening. So I accept the agreement. Click on next. So where it is downloading, guys, C users, Sujit, app data, local programs, Microsoft Visual Studio Code. Let me just go to that place once and see whether it is available. See, that place is not available right now. That place is not available right now. Let us keep it as it is. Click on next and then create a start menu folder. Next. And uh, if you want, you can have a desktop icon. So if you want these settings, which will allow you to open, like you are right clicking on a uh, file in your system, then you want to get an option of opening that uh, using this Visual Studio Code, then you can add them, that is up to you. Click on next and click on install. So it is installing in my local folder. It takes a couple of seconds, only seconds, not more than any minute at all. And uh, there you go. So it has successfully completed installation. And this is a user mode installation that is for users. So we can enable this launch Visual Studio Code and click on finish so that it opens the Visual Studio Code for the first time. So this is how your Visual Studio Code opens for the first time, everyone. So the first time you open it, it will ask you what kind of theme you want to have. So we will go for a light modern kind of theme. Okay, fine. And if you want more color themes, you can browse for more color themes. So there should be something called as Night Owl. Let us go for a Night Owl lighter that I like more than any other things. Right, just like that. Okay, see, I did not... Uh, go into anything much detail here. They have given me some options. I have just got it to him. So then, uh, so sync and uh, two from another devices, you want to get the things that are done in a different system of your Visual Studio Code that I don't want to. One shortcut to access everything. Do you want that? You can enable it. Rich support for all your languages. You want open up your code. Yes, you want. 
So if you want to go to next section, so what open the editor playground, how it is going to look and all. And uh, you can tune your settings. Okay, so do you want to install the JIT? Then you can install so that you can control it using your repository. So currently I'm not going to link it to any repository here. And you want to customize your shortcuts, you can customize your shortcuts as well. But I don't want to do any of such kind of uh, extensive things right now. And click on mark as done. And there you go. So we have our Visual Studio Code set up. You can select whatever uh, uh, would you like to have, guys. Okay, fine. Then, so this is the welcome window. If you want to create a new file, you want to open a file, you want to open a folder, or you want to connect it to a repository, development workspaces, you can do a lot of things. So you can go through the walkthroughs from here also. That is, I've shown you some videos in the Visual Studio Code website, right? Using which you can know what is VS Code and how to use it more efficiently. But before going to all, I want to introduce this act action bar here. So where we have Explorer. So when you open any folder, that folder contents will be available here. And you can search for the files and use them to replace. This is your JIT repository. And you can run and debug here. And here comes the extensions. Here comes the extensions, everybody. You generally will be having zero here. You will be generally having zero here. I will tell you what are the recommended uh, extensions that you need to have. So the first one is... Salesforce extension pack. Salesforce extension pack. Just click on this. You will get this one and just click on install. So this is one thing which is going to help you connect your Visual Studio. I mean, not Visual Studio Code exactly. Your Salesforce command line interface with your Salesforce org by using your Visual Studio Code as an intermediary by using it as an intermediate. Now you can see in that extension pack, we are also getting Apex. So we are also getting other kind of things also got installed. And the second extension I want to recommend, I want to recommend you to install is, that is uh, our, uh, a, a couple of uh, extensions are there. One such kind of thing is uh, Vignesh Ram, one guy is there. He has developed one thing called as package.xml. Salesforce package.xml by Vignesh Ram and you can just install it. I already installed it. It's fine if you don't install also, but it will be helpful for you to uh, gather the metadata. You remember when you want to extract the data from your Salesforce and uh, you want to provide a deployment descriptor, which is going to have all the contents you want to get from your Salesforce organization. So that thing can be formed dynamically using this. One. Okay, fine. So that is one extension. And I would recommend one more extension that is called as live server. So live server extension. So it was uh, given by Ritwik Day and it is used to launch the web pages and dynamically as well. Okay, these three are the major extensions I want you to install. But uh, once we start our uh, development and uh, start working on it, so whatever extensions you want to like to add them, so it will run. It will be added to your system and it will be useful for you. Okay, so that is your visual studio code everyone. Okay, so in the next session or in the next video, so we will understand how to connect your Salesforce uh, visual studio code to our Salesforce kind of thing. Okay, fine. So that's it for today guys. Uh, have a good day everyone. Bye-bye. Have a day.